Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Kimball, Artist Connective member here at Modern Salon, and I'm so excited to be sharing with you today how I like to cut a fringe and face framing layers using my Jatai Feather Styling Razor. If you guys have any questions during this live, please feel free to ask them, and I'm going to get those questions answered along the way. If I don't get to your question, don't worry, I'm going to go into the comments at the end of this live, and I'll get those questions answered for you. Before we get into this fringe, let's talk a little bit about our razor. So come right this way. Okay, so here is the feather styling razor that I'm gonna be using today. I also have another one set up as well. They have a variety of blades. We have our standard blade, which is the most versatile blade. And actually this is a great blade for those of you who are starting out like for the first time cutting with a razor. The second one, which is my absolute favorite blade, is the standard R type blade that has 40% more blade exposure for more rapid cuts. And then the third blade that they carry is a texturizing blade. It cuts 25% less hair than the standard blade to create volume and texture. So you can see that right through here. If you get closer, you can see the teeth are closer together. So it's gonna create those short and long pieces and that's, that is what's gonna create that volume. And you can see right here on this um, standard blade, which is the um, rapid or the R-type so for the rapid cut, you can see that the um, teeth of the blades are farther apart, which is giving more exposure to that blade in between. And then on the standard, you can see how close it is, all those teeth. So these are guarded blades which I love because therefore I'm not gonna cut myself or cut my client, which is so important. So I love that they carry a variety of blades. Also, they carry a blade glide, which is a hair cutting lotion and shaving lotion. So I can get through my sections really easily because the product makes it nice and smooth. Also, they have a disposal. So I can actually pop my blade in and out. So I'm just gonna show you how easy this is. And it drops right in, right? So then you're gonna come in and load your razor. Just like that. It's so simple. And what's great about this razor, it's super comfortable. I can manipulate it in many ways because of this handle. So I can go in and do all sorts of cutting, which is keeping my wrist straight so I'm not like bent up. So that's what I love about it. Made out of stainless steel, Japanese stainless steel. So it's super durable. So this is why I love this razor and that's why I choose Jatai. All right, so let's get into our fringe. First, I'm gonna show you a side swept fringe which is one of my popular fringes that I do all the time. So what I'm going to do is, you can see that I sprayed her down with water. Just make sure that your section is damp. I did a horseshoe parting, so the corner to corner of each eye. So this is gonna be side swept. So you can see that she has a left side part. I'm gonna go in. Carry that part line from the back to the front. So this is where my side swept bang or fringe is going to be living, right? So it's gonna be short to long, going from the left to the right. So when I'm combing my section, you can see how important it is to make sure that you are keeping the hair where it lives. So clean combing. So I'm coming from the bottom and from the top. So we're gonna keep her long because I'm gonna do two haircuts for you. So again, we're gonna laterally direct the hair from the right eye to the left keeping the hair long. So we'll go right maybe about her chin. I'm 
I'm gonna come up slightly. So we're at zero degrees, we're gonna slightly elevate up to 45, and that's just gonna create softness. I'm gonna go in with my blade. Remember, I'm using the one that has more exposure for rapid cuts. I'm gonna keep my hand stationary. I'm going in, tiny ticks. Tiny ticks is what's gonna get you through this section. Done. So you can see short to long. So right now, if I drop that section, to me, that is going to be like a harsh fringe. So what I wanna do is I wanna take some weight out of there. So I'm gonna take diagonal sections from the part line to the hairline. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch blades because I want to keep softness. I don't wanna go through and take out weight with my um, rapid blade. I'm using the standard blade and I'm going in, so same manner, elevate it slightly up keeping your blade at an angle and you're just gonna go in very gently and take some weight out of that fringe. So you guys can see, it's just breaking it up a little bit. Again, I'm going in, taking a diagonal section from the part line to the hairline Making sure I'm keeping my section clean, keeping the hair directly like where it lives. Directing it over to her left eye. I'm going in. Taking that weight out very softly. My last section. Same manner, combing from underneath, combing from the top, directing it over to her left eye, slightly elevating it up to keep that softness. Very gently going in, removing that weight. I'm going to comb this section over just to see how it's gonna lay. And if you come over here, you can see how nice and soft that bottom is now. Because remember before, it was really harsh when we first took the length away, but now you can see it, it's nice and airy. And then to blend that, if I were to do some face framing layers, I would come in, take my guide from my previously cut section, so you can see it right here, Combing my section straight down. So you wanna make sure that you're not taking any hair that is behind the ear. So anything from right behind the ear forward. That is going to be our face framing layers. So you can come in, see there's my guide. I'm coming in, I've combed my section straight down. And you're taking your blade and you're going to go in at an angle. So my blade's at an angle tiny ticks so moving up and down up and down up and down now if you want to preserve length so i cut down first and then i'll start directing my section to the opposite side so it's like a c shape just to preserve that length so i'm not cutting the corner off so that's going to give you that really nice soft face framing layers it's beautiful all right, so let's go in and do another fringe, which is one of my favorite fringes. And it's popular right now because it's like a, I guess you would call it the curtain bang. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna actually set my razor down. We're going to do a horseshoe parting. Now, do we have any questions? Yes. Is the razor heavy? The razor is actually not heavy whatsoever. It is super, super light, and that's why I love it. So there's no weight at all. 
on my um, wrist. All right, horseshoe parting. So the corner to corner again, about two inches back. The same thing, you wanna make sure that your section is damp. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna switch my blade again. So just like how we started, I used the feather razor with the black handle because I have the rapid cut razor blade in there. So again, you wanna make sure that the hair is combed and kept where it lives. This is so important when you're doing this curtain bang. So I'm gonna come in underneath. So I'm using the small teeth of my comb. So we're gonna keep my section long. You see, just to get the comb out of the way, instead of putting it down, I'm just gonna keep it in between my pointer finger and my thumb, slide down. So we're gonna go do this fringe. I'm taking that whole section, up and down, 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 until it's off. So what you're gonna have now is you're gonna have short to long on either side. Now I am going to comb my fringe. So from side to side, keeping the hair where it lives. So from side to side, making sure that the center is combed in the center. So this would be zero degrees at her nose. So I'm elevating it up to approximately 135 and I'm going to cut that corner off. So you can see, I'm coming in using my thumb for pressure and taking it off. Letting it go. So that's gonna create a little bit of layering. Comb that section down. Now, if you feel like you want a little more shortness in that center, so let's find center. Do we have any more questions? Yeah. I wanna make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, we have another question. Do they carry straight blades? They do carry a variety of straight blades, actually. I haven't tried them, so I can't really talk about them, but if you go onto their website, Jatai International, there'll be more information for you. Can you guys see that beautiful short to long right there? So if you want a little more shortness in that center section, you just take up just a tiny piece, going in at an angle. Same thing, I'll pick up a little tiny piece right here. My blade's at an angle. Short to long. Now what I wanna do is I wanna blend the fringe into the side profiles. So I am going to separate front from back. So it's right behind the ear. Comb that hair out of the way. Comb my hair straight down. Coming in with my fingers, holding my section. Find your guide. You're gonna go in tiny ticks. Bringing it to the opposite side in a C shape to preserve length. And you can see that nice fringe right there, connected right to the side profile. Those nice face framing layers. Same thing on the other side. Right behind the ear, comb my section straight down. Find your guide, going in, tiny ticks. Moving to the opposite side, preserve that length, and we're off. Recomb it, you can see right there, that nice face framing layers. Do 
If you want to go back and do more detailing, you can certainly do so if you want to shorten up that fringe or remove any more bulk that you see. But I just want to go ahead and dry this for you so you guys can see how it's going to lay and how I like to dry this fringe. We have another question. Oh, yes. Does the razor come in different colors? So actually, they do have a few different colors that you can get. I saw it on the website. I can't remember all the colors, but yeah, there's a variety of colors for sure. So I'm just putting a little bit of product in there so I can blow dry. blow dryer on low so just like how I cut this fringe like short to long that's how I blow dry so I'm coming in at an angle so separate that center part Coming in, putting air on the underneath to help get that bend. Following the brush and my blow dryer together. Same thing, putting some air in the underneath. Bringing it up and directing it over to the side. Same thing with the section behind it, diagonal section. You guys can blow dry your fringe anyway, whatever is easier for you. My blow dryer is following my brush, bringing it up for a little volume and bringing it towards the back. We're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side. Coming in inside, giving it some air. Rolling it back up to get that volume. Directing it towards the back. What I'll do, I'll take a section above just to get more fullness, bring it straight up. Same thing on the opposite side. dry some of that fringe right there so you can see that not the fringe how about base framing layers
you guys can see how that's laying. That's beautiful face framing layers. And she's got that curtain bang or curtain fringe. I am going to direct the hair towards the back just so it kind of gives it that little flippy fun texture. Kind of like that shag haircut. Cold air on it. Let's see. Raise it up just a little bit back. Oh, yeah. Super gorgeous. You have those nice soft layers in there. The ends are nice and smooth. You can see the razor did not destroy those ends whatsoever. I think that's like a misconception with razor cutting is people think the ends are gonna be chewed. Now I switch out blades every single client. So a new blade each time. Yeah, it's gorgeous how that lays nice. And then if you feel like you need to go in and do texture, more you know like relieve weight you can do that dry that's another thing people are like oh you can't razor cut dry well i'm here to say yes you can because i do it it's just like using the backs of my shears which i cut a lot in this back area so i can do the same thing with my razor so you can just go in and do a little bit of dry cutting we have one more question sure where can I learn more about razor cutting? So you can actually hop on to jatayinternational.com and they actually have an academy where you can watch different types of ra razor cutting. Yeah, gorgeous. I didn't wanna try the whole thing. I didn't wanna bore you guys. So at least you guys can see what we cut, right? So I want to say thank you, Modern Salon, and thank you, Jatai, for having me today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys learned things along the way. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at Amanda Jean K. You guys have a great day.